Hey everybody, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com. I really feel like practicing some traditional Chinese style Tai Chi today. So I got myself in a beautiful location. I live in the desert. There's nothing more beautiful than the Sonoran Desert. And I hope that you guys out there in YouTube land will hop up and jump in and practice with me. Right now I'm gonna take you through three different Tai Chi sequences that if you're a beginner, are very easy to learn, and if you're advanced, are really crucial to practice if you want to get some health benefits that are associated with practicing Tai Chi. Doing your Tai Chi right inside your house or in your backyard is perfect, but if you can get out in nature, I promise you it will supercharge the benefits that you'll get from your Tai Chi practice. And the way that this video is gonna work is that I'm going to briefly explain the sequence, then I'm going to stop talking and just perform the sequence about 10 repetitions in a row so that you guys can follow with me as if you're in one of my classes. So if you wanna skip all the intro of this video, in the comments down below, there's a minute and second you can click on and it will take you right to when the action begins. And if you guys stick with me till the end of this video, I'll give you a fourth bonus posture it's a little more challenging but it's really fun and I hope that you'll test yourselves and practice it now if you were in the Phoenix Arizona area right now and you're in one of my Tai Chi classes I would keep the hour to two hour long Tai Chi class all about Tai Chi we'd be doing constant motion breathing meditation solo postures and sequences we call forms. But since you're not in one of my classes right now, you're probably at home watching this Tai Chi video for at-home self-practice. I wanna tell you right now, it's very important to do something that gets your mojo and your chi and your energy and your blood flowing before the Tai Chi practice begins. And so for me, what I do is I go for like a little bit of a walk or a little bit of a run, just for like one to five minutes, and then I begin my Tai Chi practice. So I'm gonna go for my run right now, and I'll meet you guys back here in five minutes. All right, now that the blood's pumping and the mojo's going, and I can feel my vitality increasing, let's begin our first sequence of traditional Tai Chi Chen. For our first sequence, we start in a natural stance and the left foot steps out and put us into a shoulder width stance. Take one deep breath in your nose, and then slowly exhale through the mouth. Lift your hands up like this and breathe in. Drop your hands close to the body and breathe out. Raise your arms up as if you're harnessing energy from the sky. Breathe in. Prayer position. Bring the hands down. Breathe out. Like a crane opening its wings. Breathe in. Arms to the side. Breathe out, push. Drop the hands. And we will repeat the entire sequence right now.
before we go into sequence two. I decided to do every set of Tai Chi moves only five times, and if you guys want to do it more than five, just push pause and you can practice the remaining five or ten repetitions on your own. Our second Tai Chi sequence for this video is a little bit more complex than the first sequence, so if the second sequence is too challenging for you, just stick to the first sequence and do it ten or twenty times every single day. We're going to start the second sequence in a left side forward stance just like this. We're going to put all the weight on the left leg and jump hop step forward. Watch hop step to there and then when we land cross the hands here after we cross the hands retreat back onto the right leg and take the back of your wrists and just press lightly on the kidneys massaging the kidneys and then move the weight forward and push then the other direction we turn and do the same thing on this side jump off the right foot hop step forward and cross as we land. Retreat back onto the left leg and the back of the wrist lightly press on the kidneys, massaging them. Then go forward and push to a forward stance. And then turn and repeat it again. Let's do this sequence five times together and follow behind me as if you're in one of my classes. And that's how I want you guys to do that sequence if you're one of my beginning students. If you're one of my advanced students watching and your body and legs and brain can handle it, let's do it one more time together and I'll show you the way that an advanced student should do the very same sequence. third and final Tai Chi sequence for this video is a fun one and it also works the balance very very well so do your best to memorize it we'll do it five times together and don't forget to breathe deeply in the nose 
and slowly out the mouth the entire time. Follow behind me, let's go for it. This sequence is gonna involve lifting one of our legs up. I'm gonna lift my left leg up and have my left hand up. Rooster standing on one leg right here. Then take your left hand, reel the silk and lift the right leg up. Like we're holding a bug in all five fingers. Then step out with the right leg and the right hand scoops underneath and the left hand stays right there. Don't move the left hand. Just like that, that's it. Now the other side. The right leg comes up. Come back, rooster on one leg, right leg up. Then step, lift the left leg up, reel the silk. All five fingers touching together lightly. Then left leg steps and left hand scoops all the way over here. And that's the end of the sequence. Let's do it five times together. If you guys need more repetitions, push pause and do it five, 10, 15, or 20 more times on your own. I think a lot of you out there in YouTube land will benefit if I do this posture facing away from you. So I'll do it three times facing towards you and I'll do it two times facing away from you so you get both angles and two different perspectives. I want you all out there to stay very positive when doing your Tai Chi, especially if you're learning it for the first time because the hardest part about Tai Chi is learning the sequences in the beginning. Once you've got them memorized and they kind of happen unconsciously, you can flow through them and capture that smoothness and meditation and motion that Tai Chi is famous for. And since you are such good students and you made it to the end of the video today, I want to give you a fourth style of Tai Chi training to take with you. And you can do this at the beginning or at the end of each Tai Chi practice you do at home. We have an area within our Tai Chi training called marrow washing. And the goal of marrow washing is to find the energy that's trapped deep within the body, such as in the bone marrow, and try to bring it out into the surface so we can use it to benefit our life. Here's one aspect of marrow washing. I want you to practice with me right now. Take your right hand and start on the upper shoulder and just lightly tap and work your way down the arm all the way to the wrist and to the knuckles. Then back up again. Now the other side, start the shoulder 
and work your way down. Not too hard, but not too soft either. Somewhere in the middle. Back up. Now on the hips. Work your way down the front of the legs. On the shins. Back up again. Deep breath. The outer part of the legs. Working your way down the thigh. Down the outer calf. And back up again. And then behind the legs, like your butt. And then work your way down the hamstring, behind the knee, behind the calf, and back up again. Take another deep breath. <sighs> work on the face, just the cheekbones. 10 taps. Good, above the ears with your fingertips, 10 taps. Good, 10 taps on the forehead. And then 10 light taps behind the neck where the hairline is. And that's a brief intro to our marrow washing that really is fun to do and gets the blood flowing over the entire body, especially first thing in the morning. Hey to all my Tai Chi enthusiasts out there, thank you so much for coming into my video and practicing Tai Chi with me. It truly is a beautiful, ancient form of health, fitness, and martial arts from China. I practice my Tai Chi every day, and I'm so glad I get a chance to share it with you here on YouTube, and at my online school, which is just five bucks a month at jakemace.com. I'm gonna put a link on the screen right now, and you guys can watch my previous Tai Chi training video, which is great for beginners. And I did the entire Tai Chi lesson at the bottom of a waterfall. So go check it out right here on the screen. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to get back to my practice and I'll see you guys back here at our YouTube channel for our next video. Please hit the like button and subscribe.